What's up guys, it's Casey. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own slide gloves. Uh, so these are the ones that I use. Uh, I've been using them for a year or so now. Uh, they're holding up great. They cost me about 10 bucks to make. Um, I have, well the original pair cost about 10 bucks. These just hold up so well compared to something you pay 50, 60 dollars for. So i um, basically making Austin's pair of gloves today. And uh, so what I did at Walmart, these gloves, $1.88, something like that, stupid cheap. Um, you really, there's other gloves there, and we've tried some other gloves, but these for $1.88 with this fake suede cow hide stuff, this stuff is so durable and, and so strong, it'll stand up to pretty much whatever you throw about or throw at it. And if it doesn't, there were two dollars. Really, you can't beat you can't beat these kind. I uh, got some cutting board. This was less than two bucks as well. Now you notice this is black. This is like the holy grail of slide glove material. This is airboat polymer. If you can find airboat polymer get it. Uh, we live at my dad airboats and there's a bunch of uh, airboat building shops around here and so you can get scraps of airboat polymer uh, probably for nothing because they're scraps and you don't need much. Our stuff holds up really well. Look at this, look at this finger. That's the that's the most that this has worn down and it's been on here mm, probably as long as the this cutting board here which is already starting to uh, already starting to wear down so let's get down to it you got your two dollar gloves I wish I would have remembered what this Gorilla Glue cost but this kind's the one to get the, the kind where you wet it to uh, wet both surfaces and then apply it this is the good stuff um, uh, maybe five bucks I don't know but you've got two dollars in cutting board and this is thin you can get thicker stuff for six or seven dollars matter of fact I'm pro I've got this I've got this thicker stuff here that I might actually uh, apply to mine since my palm puck is almost worn down I uh, you know whatever you want to spend but for less than ten bucks you can have gloves uh, that are that boom two hours three hours you're ready to go uh, Got some water to wet um, to wet the surfaces. Uh, yeah, you don't need a bottle of water, but I don't have water out here in the shop, so here we go. Pin to mark things on the cutting board. Mark your mark your palm cutouts and your finger cutouts. Uh, you're gonna need a saw. Um, all right, so I'm gonna get into it and I'll show you how it's done. So essentially, what I'm going to do is copy the slide gloves that I have made already. I like the way these work out, so I'm gonna copy that. You may choose to do something different. You may choose to do one singular puck on your palm, um, and hey, whatever you wanna do, that's up to you, but I'm gonna show you how I make mine. I wanna kinda be sure that it's similar to mine, um, and I'm actually really just freehanding this, but. That's the way it goes. There we go. Easy as that. Alright, now I'm going to cut all this out. This will be super safe. Like I was saying, don't get too concerned over how this comes out or how this looks. Because honestly, you just get something glued onto your gloves. Uh, and once it's glued and adhered well, then if you don't like the shape of the puck, we'll glue something bigger or shape differently on top of it. 
Um, I mean, I kind of even did that there. Here, my first puck that I did was a little small, and I realized I was grinding on my on my wrist a lot, so I just made the puck bigger and put it over top. I mean, it's you know, it's not that difficult, really. It's just do whatever. You know, and if you have to throw it away, it was ten bucks. Can you make me feel Now, one thing about gluing these down is after you glue them down and you stick your hand in the glove, everything is being glued flat. So when you stick your hand in the glove, it is going to pull up a little bit on the edges because before it was everything was flat and now you're trying to round out your fingers inside of it. There's a probably a good chance you're going to have to go and reapply some glue um, after you've kind of peeled it up and got it fit to your hand, but you can't glue these with your hand in it, so that's just uh, the nature of the beast. But all you'll do is spray a little more water in there, add a little more glue. Um, but for now, let's get to glue in this. So, we are going to apply the water to the glove itself. Because the glove is going to hold the moisture better. And we'll put the Gorilla Glue on here, because the Gorilla Glue will stay better on the surface. So now I found something heavy and we're going to put on it and let it dry. Then we'll come back in about two hours and uh, see how it came out. So now, while those are drying, um, I'm going to take uh, my gloves and I'm going to cut out some bigger pucks uh, because mine are almost worn down to nothing. Now, I'm, I, you could take and put a screwdriver in there and separate these two pieces, but I want to use this as my surface to mount onto because I, I like this surface better than the surface that was under it. Um, so I expanded it, but now I am going to take a little water, spray in there, squirt some Gorilla Glue to make sure that that stays strong. I'm sure if you went, like I wouldn't go more than three layers on this, like after the new stuff that I put on wears down, I will probably pry that off and put a new layer on top. Because if you get four, five, six layers high, one of those is going to be your weak point and break when you're in mid-slide and who knows what. So. Um, just judging by how this is, I feel comfortable enough to put another layer on top of this one. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And there you have it. back from lunch. Let's take a look and see what we got. <laughs> no go. So, so what happened here 
and I totally forgot about it because I did these years ago. There's a coating on this on these cutting boards. You actually have to take sandpaper, you know, take something, and rough it up to get that coating off of there, or else it's not going to stick. See? This is a different cutting board that I have already. It's, it doesn't have the slick surface like these do. So all this is shot. But I can sand this down, re-glue it, re-clamp it, then it should be fine. So, I'm making the mistake so you don't have to. Okay, so it's done drying for the second time. Most likely it's going to be stuck to the bottom of the box because of how sloppily I put the glue on. Uh, but yes, it is. <laughs> stuck on there pretty good. You can peel away all this excess glue, but the portion where the water was touching is going to stick very well. Your part around your, around your palm pucks is going to loosen up, uh, especially from from your wrist, it, like pulling up on the glove. That'll come up. Uh, I'd probably just let it come up, but whatever is too loose, you can re-glue down. Uh, but, that's really it, you're off to the races.